Brooklyn Independent Television. Hello, I'm Randy Piers. Welcome to Sector B, the business of Brooklyn on Brooklyn Independent Television. California's Silicon Valley and Manhattan's Silicon Alley, Israel, Japan, and Finland, all these places are known for their booming technology sectors. Should Brooklyn be on that list? To answer that question, Sector B's Christelle Kumwe starts out in Dumbo. The tech scene in Dumbo has been uh, growing for the last uh, six to eight years organically. Uh, a lot of the loft spaces in Dumbo were attractive to creative new companies. You've got a company that started with four people who now have 60. You've got companies that started with eight people who now have 400 employees. In fact, many people are now employed by one Brooklyn company that's a good example of the area's growth. Back in 1999, the digital agency Huge started in an apartment with a grand total of two employees. There's a certain vibe to, to being in Brooklyn. Uh, and especially in Dumbo, which uh, has a number of, uh, of, of tech companies, whether uh, other agencies or startups. Uh, and it's just a, it's a great incubator of um, ideas and it draws a lot of, of uh, creative talent and, and people who are passionate about what they do. Here's Brooklyn Roasting, here's a good tip, delicious coffee. Creative Talent is what motivated Tendigi, a mobile app development firm, to start their company in Brooklyn three years ago. Now in a new space in Dumbo, the six-man team is ready to capitalize on what the borough has to offer. Yeah. It just lo made logical sense to, to build our business here in Brooklyn. There's just a lot of energy and a lot of creative um, spirits, a lot of brand new talent, tech talent that's coming to this area, and that really inspires us to kind of push ourselves and push our business uh, forward. And the tech sector itself is being forced to push outward. Dumbo is a very small place, it turns out. And so we have a limited amount of space for these companies. Uh, so one of the ways that we're trying to continue that growth is to branch out to our neighboring neighborhoods, so downtown Brooklyn uh, and the Brooklyn Navy Yard. What we've done is banded together um, a little consortium called the Brooklyn Tech Triangle. Um, so I think the transformation is starting to happen. That's creative energy is kind of being drawn up. Uh, and the idea was that if we're seeing this explosive growth in the creative and tech sectors along the waterfront, there's no reason that a, a quarter mile up the hill that we can't start to attract them to the downtown Brooklyn area as well. Basically bringing public support now to the sector um, so that this isn't just a flash in the pan, but the Brooklyn Tech Triangle becomes a long-term home to this industry. The Triangle's master plan wouldn't only benefit local tech companies, but the community as a whole. Bus rerouting to better serve the area with transportation options or the creation of new parks and plazas and streetscapes, open green space that tech companies are telling us their employees like to have around to congregate in, to work in. Um, all of those things benefit local residents. We have 12 universities and colleges here in downtown Brooklyn, making sure that their curriculums and their job preparation goals match up with what the tech sector is telling us that they need in their employees. A new economic study shows there are already 500 tech companies within the triangle, generating about 20,000 jobs in Brooklyn. It also predicts those numbers will double by 2015. Brooklyn it has been a hot spot for people, the working community, to move to. Uh, but we want to make sure these jobs are also uh, going to people in the community that's been in Brooklyn, that's made Brooklyn great for years and years. We think that this is one of the greatest corners in the world. We're looking to give everyone a run for their money. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.